we are very much on the, the private permissioned end of the spectrum today. And so we get the question a lot of times, like why even do this on a blockchain network? Like can't you just do this with a database or using like your, your real-time payment setup? And for us, you know, we do see a future where a public blockchain fully realizes its, poten its potential. And so the way that we look at the world is like, let's build use cases today using this technology, using Solidity, which is Ethereum's programming language. And from time to time, we do these experiments where we can deploy what we've built onto public blockchains to ensure that we're doing it in a way that should the time come where we eventually want to migrate, we can do so in a pretty smooth manner. And so that's kind of our approach is this kind of building in parallel piece where we start with a use case that is not necessarily dependent on having this huge network effect upfront, but things like our digital financing application or intraday repo application as it's sometimes called, where you want it to work. And how does it work? One, it works because it's a shared ledger where everyone can see the same information. But the other probably more important piece is that you have multiple kinds of assets sitting on the same set of infrastructure, which doesn't happen today. And so this idea that you can have a token representing a treasury or high quality liquid asset and JP Morgan can lend against that with down to the minute precision is kind of revolutionary and we're finding a lot of interest as far as different types of uh, actors that want to use this intraday borrowing facility with the precision that they get from it. And if I'm a client of, of, uh, of JP, are there benefits to buying this asset on chain versus off chain? Because it sounds like you're putting some traditional assets on the blockchain. Yeah, I mean, for us right now, the use cases are focused on, on utility. What can you do with this asset? And so what we do today is, you know, we connect to tri-parties and we link them in, we link their clients' accounts in that hold these large amounts of treasuries. We will immobilize them in place. We'll issue a token against it to be able to issue, it's called JPM coin, it's our form of on-chain cash against these particular assets. And the reason we're doing that is to give this kind of precise form of lending. And we have other applications as well, which I'm happy to get into, but that's an example of, in our opinion, like the true power of tokenization is just as much about the utility that you get from this asset as it is like being able to access the investment itself. 